Series with Rico Robles is about to go live online. Catch the Concert Series, the premier live music program on Philippine Radio, Monday evenings on The Monster. Streaming video on The Monster Facebook page at RX931, The Monster YouTube channel at RX931, and twitch.tv slash monster RX931. Your Concert Series host, Rico Robles. Stand by and enjoy the program. Oh, yes, Manos Hottest, your monster, X93.1, and it's a premier live musical program on radio. This is the concert series. My name is Chico Robles, and I am your host. And this is, of course, the finale of our anniversary monster special for everybody for the year, of course, of 2022. As we wrap up the monster anniversary month on the concert series, we return to the legendary because that's what the monster is all about iconic and legendary. All month long, we treated you to current favorites and the new guard. Well, tonight, let me show you, let us show you and showcase you what an icon is all about, who is also very much a current hit maker and a groundbreaking artist of his own, especially in the future. All I have to do is just say the name, Jay Durias, and you already know what I mean. As the man behind and in front of South Border, as a solo singer-songwriter, he is one of the titans of original Filipino music. One of the most distinctive characteristic of uh, his music of in, in its positive vibe. His songs also make us feel glad to be present in this moment, in this life. And things are getting better and better. On the call series tonight, we have Jay Durias.
It's Monster X 3.1. What an awesome song from none other than, well, Mr. Jay Durias. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Good, good. Very good. Thank God. Uh, yeah. Thank you for having me once again, again and again, after all these years, decades. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, we have, we have to end. We have to end um, the anniversary month also in a massive way. And when it comes to legends and icons, eh, call you go to Janet, eh, But you know, how's everything going? You know, everything. The shows are open again. How's everything going? What's been keeping you busy? Well, uh, just last week we had a, a concert at um, in Marawi, Marawi City. You know that uh marawi siege the famous marawi siege that's mm -hmm. like uh one of the first shows after the siege so um we um we are so honored to be there and thank god we were all safe and the guys there are, you know the people the, the the fans are just so warm and uh awesome we had a great time i mean you know, uh, did you ever <laughs> come to to picture na diba, through the years when you were creating the songs when you were first starting Nah, you're gonna touch so many lives when it comes to making music. I mean, how did it all start for you? I don't know if anybody have ever asked you this, but when did you discover? You know, was it the first man that you've ever had, South Border, or did you have other uh, bands as well? And when did you discover songwriting? Mm, it all started with my dad. I, my first band was with my dad. I, I, I was mm. uh, like the Salin Pusa, ba. I, I played mm -hmm. the keyboards, I played the drums, and um, well, I, I was just influenced by my dad. And later on, I began playing with other other bands and uh, performing in, in uh, hotels as a mm -hmm. keyboard player for show bands uh, like Major Seven. That's the name of the band, Major Seven, mm -hmm. uh, Hemisphere, Wakadus, and then um, Traffic Jam and Southwater. Mm -hmm. With different genres, yun. may mga progressive rock, may mga country. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how I learned music, dude. And and <laughs> you can see the flexibility, you know, when it comes to the show band era. That yeah, baga, I, I mean, great, the request, no, that's what you guys are be playing. Great observation. Yes, I mm -hmm. I am proud to be a, a member once of a show band, and <laughs> because you know you get to play all the types of uh, all the styles all the genres uh you can never be uh you know you can never shut down sh uh, shut off your doors from from mm -hmm. these uh styles in music and you'll learn a lot you know through the years and it was it was it the challenge of just improving the keys no kumbaga you're playing the keyboards okay la namin ang ano nang tega keys they're playing an organ a piano here here there then the shows came on the shows came on or is it just Opportunity, gig to, I love what I do. I will get paid for it. Then we go on to the mm. next show. How did it go for you on those no, times? I think it's experience and, uh, you know, your your thought of being open. That's, just, that's I think, the, the main ingredient of, of my um, progress in music, I think. And, and then, pag ganun, I mean, I'm curious to learn because... Okay, you're doing the show band, you know, South Border, the songwriting and everything. But for you as an artist, was there ever like an anniversary that you do for yourself? Na para bang itong year na to. Every year, do you celebrate by buying? Kasi nakikita namin ang studio mo. Sobra. When it comes to the hardware, do you buy some hardware gear? Oh. Kana rig? What do you do to celebrate, you know, your anniversary in the industry every year? Nah, it's not. It's not about buying <laughs> gear. It's the necessity, actually, because I wanted to um, record. Um, you know, as uh, the years went by, um, I've uh, accumulated uh, some of the equipment that I really love to have. Mm -hmm. um, and um, thank God, nagkaroon naman this. Uh, these guys here. Ano to? Uh, through the years ko tong nakuha. And um, my only anniversary thing, th th that thing that you say, parang ritual every year, mm. I uh, I go back to jazz because jazz is my favorite favorite um, type of uh, music. I, mm. I, I really learned from it a lot. And 
I make sure that once a year or maybe maybe once one month in a year I I, I look back into it. That's why I you know they, my way of practicing that in going back mm -hmm. to uh, my um, scales and all of that stuff. You know the technical side. That'd be cool if you just release an album under like a jazz alter ego. Oh man, that everybody, that would be dope, what right? Are you are you a psychic? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out. I mean, I'm just reading it. As yeah. the one, I think, um, yeah. like, like they don't know it's Jay Durias. You know, we have a jazz. What's your jazz name? Do you have one? No, no, no. No? I was never known to be a jazz player, but you know, I, I like I like um artists like Dave Gruzin, uh Keith Jarrett, you know, um Joe Sample. I don't know if you've ever heard of. Are you familiar with that? No, not much, not much. But I'm hearing it now. I'm or hearing maybe, it now. Ah. Yes, yes. Big five. Uh, you know, the song's like. I mean, but do you ever see yourself I mean, when you do the jazz, right? You know, some video games. Do oh yeah, feature that type of music. Do you ever see yourself? I mean, I remember I saw a video of Kanye that he was saying, "Mahilig siya sa Sim City." So you mga mm. backgrounds in Sim City, diba? Kung niya may for you, you know, or did you ever see yourself making music for video games? Uh, truth is, uh, before I became a member of South Board, I was offered to uh, be a part of this uh, uh, gaming company in Japan. Mm. I had to choose kung as ino bang ano you know what life to uh, what pathway to go. Uh, and obviously, I cho I've chosen South Border, but um, yes, I have my I also have this passion for making uh, music for games, and mm -hmm. uh, I ended up being a music score music film scorer. So it's even more no kung tinalo mo yon uh, mga video movie. games score pa for movies. <laughs> I mean, you will be a film scorer and also a video game. Maybe you won't have songs to cry to. Man, I'm, I'm you won't have. <laughs> 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 diba? It will be that it, man. But you know, let's hear some more music. Of course, you have Jay Durias. If you have any questions, you send them in. Oh nine six one one three six seven nine three one. You can put it on the comment box as well this is the anniversary special of the concert series keep a locked in here on the monster monster rx 93.1 
yakapi mo ko habang natin ang gabi. Habang natin ang mundo. So Jay Dorias, if you're wondering what he's doing, he's playing you Super Mario Brothers. Wow. Mario, you know, you know with, with that, with the opportunity of becoming, we were just having our conversation of becoming a musical score for films and video games in Come South Border. Now, since you mentioned South Border, how did it all start? How did the band all start? Okay, it started in Davao. Uh, hmm. Our original drummer, Paul Benitez, he. Uh, he was an import. He came from Manila, and uh, our drummer from uh, Major Seven. I was, but I was a member of a, that band, Major Seven, uh, back in Davao. Uh, he was leaving for a uh, for a uh, job for abroad. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I asked my uh, other friend, my friend Bulici. Uh, I don't know if you know him, Bulici mm -hmm. Suzara. He's mm -hmm. from. Uh, he used to be. Uh, with um, freestyle, uh, no, 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 he, that's a, that's his brother, uh, oh, brother of that from freestyle yeah. and uh, velcro, velcro, okay, velcro, so, yeah, okay, okay, there you go. So, Bulici uh, uh, suggested that why don't you get Paul Benitez 
And uh, yeah, I, I remember I already met him like a year uh, before that uh, incident. So um, so we invited him over to Davao and Paul came and then he became our drummer. Then uh, after maybe seven, eight months, Paul suggested that, why don't we try Manila? Because uh, I think may something to group on the He said, <laughs> I, I, I still remember that that moment that he, he uh, uttered um, pare parang may something talaga to eh. Feeling ko talaga eh. Mm -hmm. You can make it in Manila eh. So yeah, we, we tried out and luckily we we did it. <laughs> and they, not, I mean, it's a suggestion. It wouldn't have, you should, you could have yeah. just stuck, you should have stayed, in, you could have just stayed in Davao. Just making yeah, we were music. contented there, man. We, we, we were happy playing, uh, you know, types of, all types of music that we want to, we never want to do. Kaya, mga, parang, mga ilang show sa week kayo nun? Nung time na yun, oh, you guys are in Davao. Almost every day kami. Bata lang kami nun eh. Uh, mga, sa may tugtog, dun tayo. Di ba? That's what it's all yeah. about. Now, we just you know, want to be good at what we do. That's that's mm -hmm. just the main aim at that time. Pero when when Paul said, let's make an album, let's try, and maybe we can get a record deal there. And uh, that's what really hit me in the... So, siempre nag nagpaalam na ako kung wari magstudy ng sayo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I really tried out, man. I I tried out. Um, um, but um, apparently, when when kahit kailan became a hit, I had to uh, pick between my uh, UP uh, extension courses and <laughs> or <laughs> be between that or South Border. So I I chose South Border again. And uh, when when we got a record deal, Kait Kailan was already. Um, uh, I mean, Kait Kailan became the 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 carrier, not the carrier, but it became the most popular one during the during the nineteen ninety six era or ninety seven. I don't remember actually. It's so long ago. <laughs> Chaka, you know, it's iconic. Then, sa kahit Kailan is that alam mo yung from the from the chorus, then it goes exactly. And it goes to the sax. I mean, who designed that part? And uh, and was it always hard to perform it every week, every day when somebody requests for it? You know, at the time, I remember the singer of that band was Brix Ferraris. I mean, blowing Ferraris. out that voice. Yeah, I think that's the, the reason why he, <laughs> he can't hit that note anymore. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of hard. It's not hard to uh, do it, maybe, if you, you're born to... Born with a range like that, but it what's the hardest part is singing it over and over again. That's what mm. makes uh, you drive crazy. That's what's what drives you crazy is the the repetition. But um, well, in the long run, I have uh, found a uh, maybe a, a way how to uh, overcome that. Maybe I mm. I just try to make um, impromptu. You know arrangements and whenever I play Kait Kailan or or so something a few key changes because you do have a different voice yeah, or, or, or the attack or maybe the you know uh, the style yeah I try <laughs> I try you know and you pull it off very well, <laughs> well and thanks, you know yeah. you know I mean Jay when when Kait Kailan became a hit then of course he did have my favorite song. Is um the movie well from the movie Sababa is a Bintana? No, no, uh, which is from, I think I know that song. You told me this already. Um, this is from the movie La Vida Rosa. Yes, La Vida Rosa. That is uh, of course starring Rosanna Rosas. Am I right? Yes, yes. Habang yeah. Atin... yeah, yeah. And, I and you know, with ha ha atin ang gabi, I mean, when you wrote that, was it really made for the movie, or kumbaga, it was just picked up? Okay, this is the uh that the the lyrics of that song came from the script of the movie and the mm -hmm. the, the script writer was uh, an award-winning script writer named armando lao bing lao mm -hmm. so uh, uh technically the lyrics of that song is his so i just mm -hmm. picked the parts that i want to use for this for the song so it came from the movie you know uh sumapit man ang didim. there's like a poem written there and uh sa ang luha at the has it's just a mix and matching, um, like you know, uh, a composer's job to uh, arrange the lyrics uh, that would you know uh, be appropriate for the song mm. of the movie. Uh, the music was already done because I've been 
already scoring the the movie during that mm-hmm. time and uh, that was the last one to be recorded uh at the, maybe the last uh, you know quarter of the year before it became uh released Nagulat ka ba na para bang you know it was like was it love of my life was it yung ano uh, or, or, which I losing my mind sorry losing the danceable oh, one that's the first one that's the first thing yeah. I'll be least, yes. losing my mind and then kahit kailan and then of course uh, oh, no. atin ang... it's losing my mind my Mr. Pag- love uh, my pag- pag- and uh, then um, kahit kailan and love and of my Mr. life and then and then Mr. Love, Mr. Love, Mr. Love uh, that's after Tulum. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you know, for for those that are tuning in, Mr. J. Duras, he is talking to us about, of course, having the hits of South Border and everything. So, you know, Sir J., I just want to ask, I mean, with, with through the years, we know the glory days of South Border, and then of course, lineup changes, adjustments from one singer, Megin Belawa, and then all of a sudden, like you banana the money singer. But you keep on soldiering on. You keep on making the hits. You just don't stop. What keeps you going? And if ganun, you know, um, when people change or leave or whatever, ano yung yung adjustment as a band? You know, the the first adjustment was the the most uh, painful. Eh? I, I I think mm-hmm. that was the the the, the most uh, uh, life changing. Uh, mm-hmm. But you know, as long as long as you know your um, you know your place and you 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 still remember what your purpose is uh, it's it's all about music and as long as you have that and you have you know more to share mm-hmm. and uh, you still have your passion I, I don't think you have you have the reason to stop so para siyang heartbreak no nakikita ko i mean oh, kasi para parang... Yes, you, <laughs> very true. Banda kasi ano yan eh, it's closer than the family. I mean, you do have your family given, pero yung kabanda mo talaga, you guys travel together. You have the energy of the crowd together, especially making the hits. They're a lot together, yes. That's getting true. the awards and all that. I mean, with that being said, what kept you going? I know it was the music. I was thinking about all about the music. But no time, was there ever a moment? that you wanted to just give up na para okay na ako. I have my awards na I have my oh. everything that I want already you know was there ever that time um I don't know man maybe it's just maybe if I was a solo act mm-hmm. siguro ganun but if you have brothers you know who rely on you and you re- you know you, you rely on them too and when they say na Chong, tuloy lang natin. Tingnan mo naman. May, no, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, iba-iba naman mga singers. Toto, iba mga singers. You know, you, 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 ano, you have to think twice. Eh. You, you, it gets you to, uh, you know, think it over. And and uh, I've been asking my peers in the music industry then, some some of the peers, na what should I do? Ano bang problem? Ano bang pwede namin gawin? Problema na lang namin to palagi. Siya, so, man, Hindi naman kayo dito para tumorma. Dito kayo para tumugtog. Tama nga naman. <laughs> oh, it's true. Oo oh, nga. Kasi given na yun eh, no? Like, you know, things do, especially pag naarawan, things will shine. Eh, kung baga, yeah. people will have oh, different... Oh, it's every day. Oh, diba? it's, it's, uh, it is indeed the music. Now, for you, I mean, ano pa yun mo sa mga bands? Sa mga you bands? Work. You, you don't have to really have, work hard. You must... You must still have your dedication, no matter what happens. The dedication, the passion, the hard work mm-hmm. for music is still important. Because if mawala man ng isa dun, you know, you will lose the ingredients for success. Eh. Well, one of the ingredients, yung masarap yung luto mo, eh, pag mawala, di ba? So um, I was just so true to my craft. Yun, yun lang talaga. Because this is the only thing that I know. I'm good at. I mean, like, I can say that because I'm old. <laughs> I've been for many years. So uh, I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, siguro yun lang through the years. Um, naging tama naman. And I'm, I'm a risk taker. I, I, mm-hmm. I really, I really uh, go for, you know, I go for uh, the ones that are not explored, you know, things like that. What was like the, I mean, you make the hits. We know that, but was there ever a time that parang bang ka ng, 
okay, when you made the song, natapos mo na siya, then after how many years, parang dapat pala, hindi ba kayo areg- areglo nito? Or parang, uy, mas okay oh, yata pala ito, pero okay na yun. There, there, uh, yes, during, lalo na during the early years. Uh-huh. Man, one of those songs uh, is Mr. Love. <laughs> uh-huh. I, was, I was just like, whoa, wow, uh, I should have done this, I should have done that. But, you know, no regrets naman at the end. It's it's uh-huh. it's, it's just like Afro, man. When 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 yeah. some guy, you know, ah, they hate seeing themselves, themselves yeah. like wearing those yeah. Afro. It's like that. It feels like. But that. at the time, the bass line, boom, do, 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 oh, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. people sure. dancing, that was cool. I mean, yeah. I used to go to like Hard Rock Cafe. I remember watching you guys. Uh, to the Baker. Yes, as well. You know, it was really really cool. Um, to yeah. see you guys and catch you guys live, so it's always awesome. I mean, for you guys, I mean, you know, what were the things that you miss about playing the live shows from before and then now? What are the changes that you've seen? Ah, because it's medyo ano naman siya gradual ing pag ano eh, yung pag uh, trans yung trans transition ng singers. Uh, it's always every four years. No, Bricks was with us four years, and then look four years and then Duncan and Vince they they stayed for the longest time they stayed at for I uh, maybe a good 10 years or 12 year, 12 years kaya medyo ano kami uh, tama ba ako maybe maybe seven or eight years yata kasi parang ang tanda naman namin nun <laughs> <laughs> ano um you know uh we still do we still play those songs the uh, from from the previous albums uh, but you know, siguro with this uh, maturing uh, uh, music musicality, you know, your, your musicality is uh, maturing na. It's mature enough to uh, say na uh, okay na yon. You know that that was that was that was for that era. Now we, let's let's do something else. And get it on. But we still we still do it from time to time. Some of the songs. Especially yung, the ones from uh, the second album. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with um, Sayo. Mm. Um, I need to, to play it before I can. Uh, well, I uploaded something in, on uh, on uh, Facebook, but um, it's a it's a song called the Sayo, and it goes like. Ikaw na nga. This is the era of look, look me yeah. So uh, I did a new, a newer arrangement for that. Mm-hmm. So, um, ganun na lang pare, para hindi ka manawa sa mga ginawa mo. <laughs> you, gotta, you just have to somehow re- rehash it up. But you ever see, I mean, yeah. The, the, the singers of South Border, of course, you as well taking the vocal helms. It's all male dominated. I mean, did you ever see yourself, the band, picking up, you know, a, 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 a woman? Yeah, to ever I take that. Baka mag-aaway lang kami. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Is it the range? Is it the the song? Ano yon? Paganon? I mean, you know, I mean, Nina came from MYMP. I know, di ba? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's a no. I I've um, probably been uh, I've been working with a show band, so uh, you know I I already encountered the the, the problems of <laughs> yeah, mali, maliligawan, you know, mali, yeah, in love, or, or maybe a jealous boyfriend, or oh. you know sooner or later she'll get married, she she'll you know things like Leave that. The band, I, heard, I can get it. Yeah. I've always been wondering, eh, pag ganyan mga situation, di ba? Yeah, when yeah, it yeah. comes to, is it like, oh nga, the South Border. Kasi pag, pag, pag barako, hindi nga masyadong, kumbaga, no? Uh, they focus, they're pro- they have to work, provide, you yeah, know what bro, I mean? Jam lang kami, easy lang, cool lang naman lahat, eh. You know, jam lang, yeah. jam. We're happy. Yeah. As long as we're happy, we're, you know, we're okay. Now, you know, with, with the band, of course, for those that are listening to us, uh, Mr. Jay Durias, he is, uh, of course, uh, giving us a thing or two, the stories of South Border and uh, his musical career. This is the anniversary special of the concert series here on The Monster. You know, so here's some more music, you know. Um, kapag ganyan, I mean, for you, when, when was that time, that moment, na sinabi mo sa sarili mo na, 
I've made it. Like, I'm famous. You heard, you heard your song on the radio. Ito na yun. Tuloy, tuloy na sana. Um, never got into that th- thought. But it, uh, though I had a, a, a strange, you know, not, not really strange, but this mixed emotions na the first time I heard Kahit Kailan playing on the jeepney where I was in, grabe yung feeling, man. Parang, di ba? Marinig mo sarili mo, tapos the people are talking, sino, sino to? Bago to, ah. You know? Uh, they, 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 they're they talking about the song and, and uh, you're listening to the top top five during those those uh, times. And um, you, you suddenly hear, on number one, it's uh, from South Border, Kahit Kailan. It's like, wah! <laughs> iba, iba yung feeling, pare. It's just so mad. Amazing, amazing. And, and ch- the song is just, it gave me the same feeling when I listened to Bohemian Rhapsody. Yung really? Makata, yung makatindig balihibo, especially the time when the transition of the chorus wow. and the, the sax. And that's just sobrang genius, man. And, you, you know, when you have such a massive hit like that, how does one follow up? This, this one, this part of the interview could be perfect for bands who had that one song. Then what's next? How do you do that? How do you deal with that? Question, Pare. That's a very good question. Um, I be, I'm a, I'm a believer of contrast, eh? the law of contrast. So, uh, if you remember, we had uh, Rainbow, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Let's not ano lang, parang go further pa. Let's uh, rainbow after rainbow. We had. It's not a ballad. It was the show. It was a hip hop song. Mm-hmm. So, the, uh, are you familiar with that? The show. Yeah, we play that. We play it on the monster. We play that. One. That's that. That that was yeah. like. Um, it had its its uh, rain on the air, airwaves. So. Uh, it's far from from rainbow because if you somebody will uh, hear rainbow and it you know it's it, it became a hit uh, some you know some people I mean most of the people they do expect something sort of like that you know direction mm-hmm. next single nilang gagawin or lalabas but I always uh, lean towards the you know thinking outside the box sana I mean I, I try so hard um, so that's why kahit, after kahit kailan, after that, I uh, sort of thought of making a, a medium tempo ballad. Uh, mm-hmm. so, so Love of My Life was born. Mm-hmm. Yun. Yun, merong may drums here. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's really thinking outside the box. It's amazing. Thank oh, you for taking it with us. Old school days, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> and then, pag naagawa ka ng kanta, sino yung unang pinaparinig mo? Kanino ba siya unang pinaparinig? Is it oh. a family member? Is it, you know, who's yeah. the first person? Uh, that would use? My brother. My brother Dylan. He, he is my uh, he is my sound check guy. He he does, mm. you know, uh, yeah. I, I, I usually go to my my dad, either my dad or my brother, mm-hmm. Dylan. Yeah. But so uh, parang, to tell you, to, to tell you if it's a hit, uh, okay. So, yeah. No, no, not really a hit. It's or just if it more, sounds right. Yes, if, if 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 it feels right, you know, if there's a part there that I missed, uh, can you pinpoint something like uh, that? More on I comments mean, in the, you know. I mean, you know, we, we do and we. Uh, true. And if you're so busy going with the grind and routine of, of yes, songs. The light shows, yeah, the touring and then you're you're back to the studio. You, you can't you it's can't a whole check different the make uh, glitch for <laughs> I mean when it comes to like that, you know, when you started touring already as a band and doing the the recordings and the live shows and everything. I mean, when you work on songs, is it one song at a time, tapusin mo muna to, or you start five songs, six songs, ano nang matapos, ano man yun. One song at a time. One song, one at, song a time. at a time. I'm very, very slow, man. I'm very, very slow in doing a record. Uh, sometimes, I mean, not not sometimes, most of the time, palagi na akong, you know, way past the deadline. Uh, 
Kasi if it doesn't feel right, I can't I can't really move on with my life. <laughs> okay, I just you know focus on one song and if I can't finish it tonight, I'll go back. I'll get back at it maybe next week. Just just you know cre- create that uh, certain feeling na this is the magic the most magical moment and this is it. Ganun lang. And, then and it's it's capturing the- that it's capturing that moment and it's of course uh whatever you make is a represent it's it's a, it's representing you diba kumbaga it's it's yeah, representing you there forever yes. <laughs> you can't <change. laughs> if it's a crappy song it's a crappy oh, man. song <laughs> you will never the sound, I mean, I, the sound is bad it will forever, forever be bad <laughs> you know but you know yes. you as a songwriter of course i know for sure there are many songs that you have written um, but was there any like songs that not a lot of people know that you wrote that you could mm. share with us and the, the artists as well? It doesn't have to be you. I know you've probably written songs for other artists. So it'll be the song that will surprise a lot of people. Wow. Um, or jingle. This... Or jingle sa commercial. Meron man. You know, right now I can't think of anything, but I know there's there there are there are there are songs. Um, let me let me let me uh just recall. Cause you know when you, I have this ano kasi, uh, uh maybe just just a week ago I heard something, uh played on the radio and then it sounded familiar. So we go, mm-hmm. is that who's who, who's that? Oh, it's it's Jaya. It's Jaya. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, this is not my composition, but it ended up I was the one who arranged that that single. So um, wow, oh nga no, ginawa ko nga pala to, no? <laughs> uh, theme song from Darna, ayon the first Darna, um, Angel Oxine, uh, GMA pa uh, That uh, I'm proud of that song. I like, I love the way I uh, structured that that um, that. The teleserie theme song. Uh, yun, yung mga ganong klase. Uh, ano pa ba? Marami pa, but I can't think of any right now. But maybe I'll, I'll if, if it pops out, so yeah, I'll, I'll just tell you. That'd be cool if you do like a film, ano yun, yung musical scoring ng mga Korean adaptation. Oh, Alam mo yung mga ganun. Korean music, lalo na yung the drama, they're so hmm. good at it. They're so good at it. They're, they're masters with it. For, for that uh, aspect ng, ano, ng pag, uh, film score. I love the way they uh, orchestrate and uh, the, the melody that they, they're, they're similar, medyo sa, ano eh, may pagka kondiman din eh, may Pinoy din na effort na natunog eh. Yung, for me ah, for me, interpretation, interpretation ka lang, may pagka, you know, the drama ng uh, kanilang melodies are sometimes so familiar. They sound so familiar. Familiar I mean, na natin sa mga OPM natin. <laughs> hmm. I know, I can imagine. No? Okay, Marang, it, it could be familiar sa chords. It could be the the, the patterns maybe, of it. Yeah, uh, maybe the phrasing and the choices of notes. Yes, hmm. you're right. I mean, Tama. you know, with it, when it comes to you making your music, when it comes to you doing all this, eh, who was that one artist or person that in talaga nag- influence sa'yo sa lahat na to. Other than your father, was there somebody famous oh. that you love to listen to? Oh, yeah, um, man. And if so, who was that? It's John Williams, my idol. Mm-hmm. Ultimate. John Williams, uh, the 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 composer of E.T., mm-hmm. Superman, you know, Star mm-hmm. Wars. Uh, Have you got and- a chance to, to meet him? Oh, man. Pag nakita ko yun, baka hindi ko na siya papawin sa, sa America. <laughs> I'm, a bi- I'm a very big fan of uh, John Williams. Uh, I mean, online. I mean, have you ever tried to like, paramdam ka na konti sa Instagram? Uh, you know? Ayoko na siyang gambalain. Okay na yung you're loving him from afar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that'll be cool, no? Magulat siya sa'yo. Hey, Mr. Durias. How you doing? It's John and Williams. If you start to listen to, you know, to EP one more time, you will be amazed how... I mean, if you listen to it carefully, like detail by detail, that's genius, man. Ding. Yes. You know, son? <laughs> I mean, I EP mean? phone home. I remember... Yeah. 
Das. Diba grabbing to ano eh, sobra eh. And they should think of it it's so playful at the same time. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, for example, uh, can you read my mind as Superman?
Pilit kong limutin ang pag-ibig mo Ngunit di maalis Kahit anong gawin Alam ko na di dapat Pero di matiis Lumaya pa Sa aking daigdig Parang nakabaon Sa hangin Sa aking Panaginip Hanggang sa pangising Hawak-hawak Ta so many things that is in store and you know just like your song it keeps getting better and better now you know with the song <laughs> thank course, you for that... playing my song a better and thank you yes thank you, thank you so it's, much it, it's a song that we all needed especially in these times 
I mean, you yeah. know, how did it feel when they brought out that song? Were a lot of people surprised? Na parang, Uy, kakaiba to, ah. Yeah, I I had uh, I received some um, emails and messages from Facebook na it lifted their souls though, you know. But the truth uh, when I was writing that song, I was really feeling low, you know. Mm-hmm. I just I just like uh, decided to write something that's opposite to what I was feeling that time. Uh, so yeah, I came up with better yeah, major <laughs> but um right. i'm happy i came up with that I- i'm so happy especially with the intro i was really struggling with coming up uh you know sc- coming up with an intro was really a, a dilemma for me for that song but <laughs> it-, it came out i mean, per- I mean with-, with changes now in sound as well see si more yes, si beyond- I- si- yeah that's the reason why because i, I wanted to sound updated not outdated mm-hmm. so um mm-hmm. i was looking for something that would uh you know uh captivate the uh audience's ears ear I mean, and you know, listen to the to the song more beyonce is going through a disco phase drake mm-hmm. is also uh, changing his sound it sounds like 90s disco yeah, honestly not even edm electronic dance music before it was called edm do you ever see south border sound going in that direction if not you guys have already did it's gonna turn it back a little bit maybe maybe yes uh we did the show that's the furthest that we've gone <laughs> uh um Love of my life has 808, but it's but it's a medium ballad song. So uh, I don't know yet, man. I don't know what's in store. You know, anything can happen in the studio. Probably uh, I'll go with something that's more organic. Uh, I, I'm I'm I've been wishing to record. I've been dreaming to uh, record the band live, like all of yeah. us playing all at once. Not not taken like you know like uh, procession procession yeah, no. per track per track uh, and then the uh, singer is the last no i, I want to try doing it how we do it live you know like but a live album one pass one pass but studio recorded but one That'd pass cool. yeah That'd dude it, cool. that's magic right there i think no, you, uh, you, Yung parang ano siya, kumbaga, kung may social distancing, yung album nyo, it could be different. Like, like similar to the title. Kayo, sabay-sabay kayong lahat. It's how oh. Bam did it. Uh, the, the, the song, Noy P, Mr. Clay, yeah. they did it all at once. There, there were no... The energy. No, you yeah, energy in the room point. talaga. So that's why it worked so well. Yeah. Uh, something like that. Or maybe with an orchestra. That's my dream, you know? Hmm. <laughs> hey, that'll be nice. That'll be something to look forward to. The, the and, Philharmonic Orchestra. Yeah. And Gerard uh, Solunda, you know, as the as the main conductor. Wow. That's, uh, you know, he might be tuned in. Leia's always watching from time to time. Here at the concert series. Say hey, why not? Hello, Leia. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your shot. But you know, Jay, what's in store for you for the rest of the year? You know, it is the anniversary month of the monster. Before we ask you for the future plans for the year, message more. So, lahat ng, of course, listeners of Monster X 3.1, who listens to South Border, who requests for your songs here throughout the years? My message, uh, first of all, I, I like to thank, I'd like to thank uh, RX, of course, for for playing my music. Hindi, wala kayong maririnig from me. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to thank uh, all the, the people who support uh, our music and, and love it. Uh, if not for you guys, there's no reason for us to keep going. Then, eh? um, thank you for lending us your ears, and uh, maybe uh, in the future, we're we're, we're starting uh, something. I have a partner right now, and uh, we're doing something uh, like you know, like what old school musicians used to do. Uh, we're trying to to bring back the. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you're you're familiar with uh, Cipra. Uh, hmm. uh, are you familiar with the uh, Kapa Cipra? Yeah, Kapa in Cipra Cipra. Yeah, yeah, when it comes to songs. Well, mano mano thing. Uh, like how we how we used to learn music. Uh, I'm trying to uh, teach the younger generation 
uh, musicians na may mga kasama ko lang naman like like my kids and uh, some of the friends na mm-hmm. na uh, we're, we're trying to to uh, do something na more manual not 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 um, automa- not not, not uh, technology driven you know we download online the the, the yes. tabs yes yes and and then, no backing tracks nothing just uh-huh. just you and produce uh, the sound, the, the ultimate sound that you can produce, something like that. As Galing, what no? instrument you play. Uh, it, goes, it goes back to the jazz influence that you've had. That's that's one, yes. But, you know, there are many. There are a lot. Uh, I think one of the reasons why I, uh, I became so uh, diverse is because of uh, film music. Uh, film, you know, film is uh, the the music for for life. The right? I mean, that, that's the the music of life itself. Uh, Hans Zimmer, you know, uh, John Williams, of course. Go, going back to, marami, uh, maraming na si Alan Silvestri. You remember, you know this? Yes. There was a boy. You know, Things like that. Uh, His name is so, Jay. So, so, galing, galing, galing. I mean, for you, if there would be one song that you have written, what would be that song that is the score, the story, or represents your life at this very moment? Oh, that would be lyrics-wise. It's it's not me who, who wrote it. It's uh, Trina Belamede, and I did the music for that. And, uh, it's called um, Walk With Good. Uh, Rainbow is one. But if you ask me what my favorite song is, it's Habang Atin Ang Gabi. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> it is, of course, a beautiful, beautiful song. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you for taking time you know, to join Man, us to close you. out our anniversary. Special, you know, the icon that you are, staying legendary wow. as you are. Oh, and, you know, Thank you. I mean, what would be that one award that you would want to receive? I know you've received so oh. many. Any isang award na yan na gusto mo receive? A Grammy award, of course. <laughs> if you but... were given that Grammy right now, Jay, what would mm. be your speech? Oh, I, I would be speechless, man. I, I I might cry. <laughs> it's 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 every musician's or songwriter's ultimate dream to have a gram, Grammy. Yeah, talagang uh, you know the world is getting smaller. You know it's bringing us together, and uh, I'm not sur- I will not be surprised surprised if uh, some some uh, Filipino songwriter will just you know suddenly have a a, a Grammy award out of nowhere. You know, madali na tayo mapakinggan ngayon eh. Madali na tayo ma-reach. So, yeah, that's one of those, you know, few dreams that I have for for the music industry, actually. And if that dream is not for me anymore. It's uh, for the kalahata na sa mga bata. The yeah. new ones that are coming out and, of course, uh, everybody that continues to write. You know, yes. but given so, kunyari, i-envision natin yan. Kailangan ko tanong sa iyo to. Nananalo ka ngayon. The Grammy goes to for best composer, mm-hmm. Mr. J. Durias. What would be your speech? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Pero if it happened, if, if it, it happens, I'm, I'd probably say, say that uh, never uh, expected this and uh, this is just a dream. Is this real? <laughs> <laughs> and uh I'd probably thank my dad the most for uh influencing me uh bringing me to his uh live gigs when I was five because if not for that I won't be a musician right now uh lang yun pare it's just the uh being grateful eh. uh mm. you know if if you are grateful you will still have that passion to burn Parang gas mo yan eh. And it, it, it'll bring about longevity, right? That's what it's yes. all about. Yes. Yeah. Hey, man. You know, wish you well. More music. We are excited 
for the more music you would come out with especially when you said contrast so of course when the song better it's out already ano susunod papayakin mo kali kami anong song naman contrast eh oh, what's christmas up? album mo na pare i'm doing a christmas album right now so uh yeah, yeah stand by <laughs> this time i'm gonna finish this Last can you year collaborate year. with ano with jose marichan oh why not <laughs> Right now, uh, I might be, I, you know, you would probably see me collaborating with Ice Seguera. So, uh, yes, just uh, watch out for that. I'm uh, about to uh, make music for her words. Uh, this is something that something that, to look. That's something to. new. That's something that uh, has just happened last night. So I just. Uh, hey. Okay. So, uh, first, first, I uh, heard here. So, ano yan? Bar months mo, i- 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 ano yan? September pa lang, release na? Or... No, because lang... it's easier. Yeah. Oh, the Christmas album, that I plan to release some sometime in uh, October or November. But uh, little by little, the, the, the single will be released. And uh, that, that one's dedicated to my father-in-law because he's the... Mm-hmm executive producer of that album so i have to hurry up and uh finish uh well as for the uh, project with isa that's uh another thing um we don't know yet what's gonna happen but uh we're we're keeping in touch and uh sana nga, sana something have something magical would uh, come out Nag-uunat na si Jose Marichan. So he's pretty much excited for the bird months to come. But Ice and oh. Jay, you guys are coming out with something big as well. What more ways to be excited? Of course, the bear months is upon us next week as we end oh, our no. anniversary special here on The Monster. Jay, thank you very much. All right, thank you Man, thank for the you hits, so the music, and keep on making them as you look forward to more once again. My name is Rico Robles. Thank you guys for keeping it locked in here. This has been another edition of an anniversary special. You wrap it up with a legend. This is Jay Duras. Keep it locked in here on The Monster. Monster RX 93.1.